Hey everyone. I want to talk to any of you who are feeling out of sorts, kind of unmotivated, experiencing a bit of malaise recently during this pandemic. You know, not only have the normal rhythms and routines and infrastructures inside a normal week and a normal weekend, not only have they all dissolved, but we are amidst a pandemic, the likes of which we have never experienced in this lifetime. And I've been talking to quite a few people lately who even though they haven't been directly impacted, meaning they don't have the virus themselves, they haven't lost their job, they're still feeling very much not okay and very much out of sorts. And if that fits for you, then I wanna suggest that now is the time to start doing some real good emotional housekeeping. I know for some of you that idea is every bit as sexy as getting a cavity filled without anesthesia, but hear me out on this. Right now, our society is going through an acute stress disorder. That is what we call it when there is a trauma playing out, something terrible that threatens lives and livelihoods and you are powerless to stop it. And all you can do is bear witness to it and try to stay out of the fray. Now, whether or not we've looked at it in these terms, even those of us who have not been directly impacted are impacted. We're all experiencing this. We're all witnessing the ways in which other people are struggling, struggling for their health, struggling for their economic viability, struggling in other ways. And we do ourselves a real disservice if we try to think that we are immune to the losses, the sadness, and the fear that's going on out there. So after the pandemic has left town, I, I really believe there will be a significant spike in depression for all of those people who have felt a cumulative toll on this. And one of the things that you can be doing right now to try to prevent feeling depressed afterwards is start taking time simply to feel your feelings. Think of your COVID stress and news as all going into one bucket. You and I know darn well there's new stuff being heaped into that bucket all the time. Your job is to tend to the bucket frequently enough that it doesn't overflow. So you need to spend some time processing some of the upsetting things you heard or read, feeling some of the feelings that you have, talking to trusted friends about what's going on, journaling, going for a quiet introspective walk. These are all ways you can tend to your own emotions, tend to the things that have built up in that bucket. You can ask yourself things like, what's the most upsetting thing I heard this week? And give yourself a second in time to acknowledge it and have emotion around it. You can also ask yourself, who are the people that I'm heartbroken for in this moment? Whether they're people you know personally or stories or groups of individuals that you know are struggling societally. It's important to tend to your bucket. Finally, I will suggest that now is an incredible time to pull way back on your news consumption. Your electronic devices can deliver far more news and headlines than your emotional, social, psycho system of being human can ever possibly process. And that's part of why the bucket is overflowing. So if you haven't tried my strategy yet, I would recommend only checking the news every third day. Grab a handful of articles, 
get in and get out. I said a handful. 12 is not a handful. Grab a handful of articles so you feel updated. Get in and get out. And then take the next 48 hours after that to be present to your own life, present to your own health, present to the darling people stuck in your home with you. Be present when you're not on the news. Take good care of all of yourselves, and if this post has been helpful, please share it. We'll see you next time.